Hello everyone, this is Beatus Kid off Steam, and today I'm hoping to provide a walkthrough on how to farm the treasure room in the first DLC of Borderlands 2. Uh, as a disclaimer, I have not found another video of this method. I'm, I'm almost 99% sure that there is a method like this somewhere on the internet, but I have yet to see it. And if anyone knows of this video, if there is such one, please post it here as a reply. But this method I have found to be a little bit easier than the current method, but it requires not completing the quest, X marks the spot. So, what we're going to do is we're going to start by running Steam. And let me zoom in here a little bit with my phone. We're going to go up to Steam up in the left hand corner, click Steam, and go to offline mode. And I'll have to restart Steam. So let me zoom out here. The big picture will run. Okay. And we exit out of Steam. Now, we'll run Steam again. We'll go to my library, and we'll find Borderlands 2 is right there. We'll play Borderlands 2. What this will do is it will bring up the Borderlands 2 launcher. Now, what we're going to do is we're going, let me get a little bit closer here, we are going to pin Borderlands 2 as a program to the taskbar. So if I close it, it still stays there. So let me run Borderlands 2 first time. As you can see, there's the first copy. We'll right click and launch it again. This right here will give two copies of Borderlands 2 running at the same time on my computer. Now, I have a second computer monitor over here, so this makes this... You know, it's not really a glitch, this is more of abusing the quest. You know, this isn't really a glitch at the moment, I don't think it is. But anyway, I have two monitors, this makes running this a little bit easier. So we'll go ahead and play both of them. And control window X. Now, as you can see, I have two copies of the game running at the same time. So, we'll use this, the left monitor, as my main account, my level 50. And we'll use the right monitor as the mule, the character that I load up with loot. So we'll go over here. Pardon my shakiness, I don't have a good mount, unfortunately, for my phone, phone, so I'm doing this by hand. So, there's my mule, and we'll go to select character. There's my level 50 in true Vault Hunter mode. Basically, in during the quest, after you beat the Leviathan, you'll want to save the game after you, after you beat him. Because the next quest, the next part of the quest is find the treasure room. And then you can Alt F4 out of that and continuously loot the treasure room until you find something you want and then leave. Well, combined with the second monitor and second playthrough, this allows you to basically infinitely loot. So over here on my second monitor, we shall go ahead and load, hopefully, any day now. There we go. There's my mule. So, on my main, we'll go ahead and continue game. There's the Leviathan's Lair. And we'll see that I have not completed a quest, and it's X marks the spot, find a treasure room. So, we will shift tab, go over here to my second account. This is, uh, there we go, and then, ah. Try that. There we go. Now, under the second account, we're going to go to Find Games. 
And this right here is the current count going, the current game going on over here on my left monitor. So we'll want to join the game. And it says Beatus Kid has joined your struggle. Reaches a Pandora grow stronger. So we'll want to play and confirm. Loading character data. And there we go. So let me get set to stand up real quick. I'll place my phone on here. Hopefully I'll get a good angle. There we go. And there we go. Okay. So now, with two copies of the game going on at once, I can use the mule to infinitely loot the treasure room. If I find something I like, I put it on the mule, save quit on the mule, and then alt F4 on the main. And this will allow me to constantly loot the treasure room till my heart's content. So we'll keep running up here. It's a wall sphincter. Thank you, Claptrap, for lovely memories. And I apologize for recording this on my phone, but I have fraps, but unfortunately it if I was to record it all of this, it would be literally like a hundred gigabytes of video. It seemed like ten ten minutes is forever on fraps. So there's my bird in the background. So we'll see. There's the Leviathan. He's dead. Obviously. Leave the main alone. And then use the mule to go to the treasure room. Get what you want. And like I said, if you don't find anything, just save quit. Alt F4 on the main. And rinse and repeat. And this right here is essentially, we, I think we've all seen the console version of this game where the guy on the Xbox had two accounts running at once. And this is the PC variant of it. And like I said, I think I said at the beginning, I have not seen a video of this. The only methods I have seen of farming the treasure room over and over again is coming here after the Leviathan's defeated and the quest is completed and then like using the hitboxes that are left over on the Leviathan and walking on the hitboxes using elevator glitches to get into the treasure room which can get very annoying I have done it on a friend's account once and I never want to do it again it was uh, it was terrible how many times I, I failed but that this is basically it and you come up here, always open up the red chest first, going to my left. And doing this method, I've only, at the moment, only legit seen, found one legendary. And actually, I think I have it on this guy at the moment. Yeah. Um, big Badoom. But, open everything. I don't think legendaries like me, especially in the treasure room, because I've only found two. And uh, let's see, what is that? Assault rifle, that's actually not that too bad. I'll keep that one. And nothing good, wait, eh. Uh, I'll keep that one too, even though it's a blue. Still haven't found anything really good in here. And that's it. So, right there concludes this. What you'll do is you'll quit and save quit. And then let me remove my phone real quick from my stand. I'll come over here. Here's my main. And I'll click resume. And then I'll F4. And then restart Borderlands 2 launcher. Hopefully, there we go, and do it again. And this method, I've like I said before, I found easiest. It just requires, unfortunately, not completing the quest all the way through the quest line. And that's that's basically it. So, excuse me, I uh, conclude this with hoping. Uh,
I have helped out some people that are hoping to get some good old fashioned legendary equipment. If not, well, I tried, I guess. So, everyone, have a wonderful day and hope to see you on Steam. Take care.